number 07836 353 985. Um, we're doing a power flush today in Northenden in Manchester. The system is an open vented system. Uh, the customer is a British gas customer. Um, and um, she's, uh, you know, British Gas has advised uh, due to circulation problems that the system needs a power flush. It 100% does need a power flush. It's uh, a very, very, very rusty system. Um, we've actually, uh, you, you know, we actually, when we were capping off uh, in the header tank area up in the loft, we saw an awful lot of rust in the header tank. Um, and um, that's why we know it's bad. Plus, now we've tapped in through the actual pump. Uh, we've actually took in the pump housing off even um, and we've uh, well, I'm going to show you that right now actually there are it's absolutely fully blocked and um, it's blocked with rust etc there's just about you know there, there, there is still circulation here but we've told the customer that she needs a new pump and we've actually spoken to British Gas on her behalf as well um, but we're just going to dump the water we'll show you how bad the actual system is Because the customer is um, a three star British Gas customer, um, I asked the customer to ring British Gas and see if they'll actually supply a pump uh, for the system. Uh, I've actually spoke to British Gas myself, I've asked them if they can get down today um, that we do need a pump on the system. Um, sometimes you, you can just get away with putting a pump on the pump housing, you know, a pump head on the pump housing, but in this case, uh, no way. It's just too badly blocked. So if they manage to get down today, I've said, listen, I'm doing a power flush, I'm here all day. Uh, if you can come and drop a pump off, I'll just put it on and get the system up and running. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see if they turn up. If not, I'm going to have to put the system back together and they're going to have to come on Monday or, or whenever they're coming uh, and put a new pump on the system. We always carry a spare pump. Uh, we don't actually make any money uh, supplying the customer pump. It's just, um, you know, nice to, you know, if the pump's uh, on its way out like this one is, or really badly blocked, it's always worth putting a new pump on the system, okay? Uh, we'll just mention as well, price-wise, we're up to 50% cheaper than most of the major utility companies like British Gas. Um, the job's done 100% properly. We only use the best equipment, chemicals, um, and, um, you know, we, we've got magnets hooked up on the system as well. We're fully gas safe registered, um, also if you need a new boiler installed, um, you know, just give us a call, we'll always insist on power flushing the system, um, it's just not worth fitting a new boiler if you're not going to power flush the system. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. We've got the magnet hooked up to the system there, that's going to catch all the rust um, and sludge out of the system, we'll show you that later. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to get on with the job. Um, and we'll get back to you later. Just quickly mention the areas we covered. We covered a whole of the northwest UK area. We also travelled down to Stafford. Um, we actually more or less go as far as Wolverhampton. Um, you, you know, we, 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 we travel around. We was in Morecambe uh, last week, the start of last week. And um, you know, just ring us up with the area. If, 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 if you're not too far away, if, you, if you're like 60, 70 mile sort of radius of Stockport, in Bramall where we live, we'll come to you and we'll, we'll sort your central heating system out, okay? Okay, we're going to get on with the job and we'll get back to you later on, thanks. Hi Barry, how's Pro Power Flushing? Okay, I'm just showing you where we're hooked in onto the main system because the actual pump housing was too badly corroded um, and it, uh, you know, the pump valves were leaking so we've actually gone in through the main pump housing uh, pump valves, okay? We're going to take a look at the magnet very shortly and we'll just see what uh, we're picking up out of the system. Okay. Okay, barriers, pro power flushing. We're going to take a look at the magnet now. We've just put it on bypass. We've not even looked at it yet. So we've just put it on bypass and we'll see what um, we're picking out out of the system. I expect it to be fairly heavy because there's a lot of rust in this system, as we could see from the actual pump before, the pump housing before. Okay, yeah, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Big pieces of metal, lots of sludge, lots of big pieces of rust there. And that's what power flushing is all about. It's about getting all that out of the system. Okay? Uh, you know, if you're uh, considering a power flush, uh, whether you think you need one or not, um, just take a look at that and then you'll, you'll realise why your central heating system probably isn't working so well, um, you know, as well as it, it, it should be. Okay? If you imagine that going through your boiler or through your pump, 
um, you know eventually it's just going to wreck it you know if you've got a combination boiler especially a combination boiler if that's passing through the actual heat exchanger the diverter valve the pump um, on these combination boilers now the, the heat exchangers um, they've only got small passageways that could soon block it up and um, you know it, it could basically just wreck your boiler pass it through the diverter valve it's going to clog your diverter valve up it's going to wear if you've got diaphragms in your diverter valve in your boiler it's going to it's just going to split them um, so you know that's why you need a power flush um, we know a lot of central heating engineers um, they'll come and give you a good price for fitting a boiler um, and um, you know they won't always power flush the system we're not talking about all heating engineers of course because some of them do but a lot of them don't you know if they're just saying um, if they're just going to rinse a little bit uh, put a little bit of water mains water through the system in all honesty it's just not good enough uh, if anything it's probably going to cause further problems um, if they've just put mains water through the system and they put a new boiler on and they're not putting any inhibitor in or they're putting a cheap inhibitor in even which isn't up to the job uh, this is what you're going to get you're just going to get loads of rust in the system it's going to create rust and um, you know the, the main point I'm making is if, if you've had a new boiler fitted or you're thinking about getting a boiler fitted make sure it is power flush 100% properly it's the most important part of your boiler fit um, it really is uh, if you had a new boiler fitted and, and it breaks down the manufacturers are going to send the engineers out if they're finding rust and corrosion in the, in the boiler in the heat exchanger it's going to invalidate your warranty uh, you, you're going to have to fork out for possibly a new boiler if not you know maybe some expensive parts for the boiler like i.e. heat exchangers um, diverter valves uh, pumps and things like that so um, like I said before we actually fit boilers as well um, if you need a new boiler fitted um, we'll always insist on power flushing the system we will um, reduce the price of the power flush um, but you know we're not going to fit a boiler uh, without a power flush it's as simple as that um, because um, you know if, 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 if the system's uh, power flushed I'll, I'll extend I would even extend the warranty on the boiler we fit um, because you know it just all makes sense okay um, right we'll probably talk a little bit more about this after um, but I've got a lot to do so I'm just going to get on with the job and we'll get back to you later thanks Hi Barry Ayers, uh, Pro Power Flushing. Okay, we're flushing the upstairs radiator circuit now. We're just going to show you how filthy it actually is. And we're going to put it on dump mode. There you are. Look at that. That's all coming out of the radiators, all that metal, rust and sludge. And that's what's in the system. That's just circulating right around the system. It's in dump mode now. But I've just put the dump uh, hose into the machine just to show you what exactly is coming out of this system. And that's why you need a power flush. Uh, this is an open vented system uh, but you know even combination boiler systems if they've not been powerful properly uh, they get a lot of corrosion just as much as this um, in the system you know if someone's just come along and uh, you know taking your you know put a boiler in uh, taking your hot water cylinder out um, your tanks in the loft etc just connected them pieces together and uh, put your combination boiler in if they've not powerful it properly uh, that's what's going to be in your radiator and your pipework system it's still going to be there and it's going to be running through your brand new boiler okay so if you, even if you've had a boiler fitted within the last few years and you're not quite certain if it was powerful properly um, you can always um, you know, you, know you, you should remember what's happened what the, the, what the installer actually done um, or give them a call uh, if, you, if you've got any doubts see if it has actually been powerful with a machine and not just mains tap water if they're so uh, if the engineers are turning around and saying, well, listen, we put some uh, mains water through and, uh, you know, that's OK. Uh, it, it's not OK. You know, this is the only way to get a central heating system clean, what we're doing uh, right now. It's the best thing you can actually do to your central heating system, bar none. OK, um, we actually believe we're one of the best companies in the country for power flushing. We just do too many power flushes. We've come across too many different situations. Um, we, you know, we, we've, we've seen a lot, we've come across, um, you know, uh, all, all sorts of things really. The main thing is, we're getting into the system, getting the best flow possible, and we're trying to get your system up and running uh, how it should be again. So even if you've got an old system, an old boiler, you know, and it's sort of grinding to halt, or it's not performing how it should, just get it power flush. You know, that little money you're going to spend on a power flush, it could revive your central heating system and then you know you don't have to get a new boiler even just um just just get it power flushed it's uh 
If you imagine it's like an oil change for your central heating system. If you never change your oil in your car, eventually it's going to break down, it's going to grind to a halt, and your central heating system's just just the same. If anything, it's more prone to breaking down because of the rust and corrosion that the water, uh, you know, actually gets in. It, you know, the water in the central heating system just just gets contaminated with oxygen, and it starts to rust your system. And that's what the Central Max 100 is there for, that's what the inhibitor's for, it's not a cheap inhibitor, it's a really good inhibitor. Um, we've proved it works, we've dropped a nail in it, um, you know, some uh, water um, uh, and some uh, inhibitor in it, and we've put a nail in the other container, which was just water. We've seen it over the course of a week, and the one with inhibitor in, it doesn't rust, the nail doesn't rust, the one without inhibitor in, the, the nail goes all rusty. Um, so that's what the inhibitor is for, it's to stop that corrosion process after the power flush has been done. Okay, um, just like I say, we, we may sound like we're going on a bit, but I'm just trying to give you all the information I can. Um, and, and, you know, uh, this, is, this is what you want to see really, you want to see uh, what's going on, what's coming out of the system. And, and like I say again, we do actually fit boilers. If you're wanting a good combination boiler, we tend to fit the Baxi Potterton mains, they're a really good boiler. Um, you know, if, uh, if it was a like for like sort of swap, um, you, you know, or even if we have to take your old uh, central heating system out, your, your, your old water tanks and things like that, it's not a problem. Um, but, um, you know, they're the boilers we tend to fit, they're, pretty, they're, they're very good boilers, we've had our seven years, not a problem. No problems whatsoever, that's just because it was par flush properly, I know that, and it is a good boiler anyway. That's the boilers we tend to, to like to fit. So your system will be par flush, we'll give you a competitive price um, and um, just give us a call if you need that doing or if you just need a power flush, okay? Okay, we've still got a lot to do as you can see, so we'll get on with the job and we'll get back to you later, thanks. Hi Barry, I just brought power flushing, as you can see the water's a lot clearer now, we're going to take the pH through the S level there uh, soon, we want to get them near the tap water, um, we're not quite there yet, but we're getting there and uh, we're going to clean the header tank down in the lock area as well shortly. Um, I'm not going to take the video camera up there, there's hardly any room for me to get up there, it's pretty dark. But that's what we're going to do. Um, so we'll just get another job and get back to later. Okay, Barry, I pro power flushing. Okay, we've just cleaned the header tank out there now, and that's what's come out of it. In fact, we're going to pour it away and show us exactly what's coming out of it. The sponge has just fallen down here, we'll get that out in a minute. But there you are, that was, that's what was in the header tank, all that sludge and bits of rust and bits of metal actually in the header tank. That's what's circulating around the whole central heating system and uh, being deposited in the radiators and also in the header tank itself. Okay. Hi Barry, Ice Pro Power Flushing. Okay, the job's going okay. Um, we've actually cleaned the pump uh, housing out as best as we can. Uh, it should get a little bit of a better flow. I was hoping British Gas was going to turn up today with a new pump, but they haven't turned up yet. Um, we're still here for an hour or two yet. Um, but to be honest, um, I've got a feeling they probably won't turn up today. So we're going to have to put this old pump back on. It's not ideal, uh, but obviously that's all I've got to work with at the moment because um, you know the customer does need a new pump, but because she's got a British Gas contract, uh, British Gas will actually supply a new pump uh, for the customer. The only thing is, they're probably going to have to drain the system down again and upset all the actual good work uh, that's been put in here. So. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, uh, you know, I'd really like them to turn up with this new pump. But anyway, um, we're just going to get on with the job and we'll get back to you later, thanks. Hi Barry, here's Pro Power Flushing. Okay, that's the system all back together now, it's all heating up nicely, etc. The Centrum X100, I'm actually going to leave this for British Gas to add because they haven't um, actually turned up today with a pump. So they're obviously going to come some other day. The pump valves are a little bit ropey, so uh, they're probably going to have to drain down. So I'm going to actually leave this in the container for them to add via their header tank or radiator or wherever they want to really add it through. Okay, get back to you later, thanks. Okay, that's the power flush done now, uh, all pumps uh, back on, etc. Uh, we just said before it's all heating up nicely, which it is. Um, but we're just going to show you this. Uh, the pump is a little bit noisy, if you can hear that. But obviously it needs a new pump on, but British Gas, they, um, you know, they didn't get here today, so... Um, hopefully they're going to come out, put a new pump on for this customer. Everything's heating up nice though, much, much better than it was. All that rust and corrosion that came out of the system. 
um, but it really does need a new pump on it, it you know, because of the noise it's making, it's uh, it's on its way out, it means the bearings have sort of gone in it uh, and things like that. But anyway, if you need any power flushing done in uh, the northwest area, this is in London today, in Manchester, just give me a call, telephone number 07836 353985, or if you need any boilers fitted, new boilers fitted, um, any gas work, uh, just give me a call on the same telephone number. Okay, thank you very much, bye.